We're gonna be going through some hamstrings, some balancing stuff, but a lot of breathing, a lot of breath work, and not just in the beginning and end of the practice, but like during the whole thing. I know typically through the sun salutations, I always say inhale and exhale and all that kind of stuff. But when we're in poses, I really want you to close your eyes today and like just focus on breathing in and out through your nose and focus on belly breaths. So really working on some breathing, which is super exciting. It's my favorite stuff. Okay, starting in the back of the mat with your knees nice and wide, big toes touching, tops of the feet on the floor and sit on your heels. From here, walk your hands all the way out, bringing your forehead down to the ground, going into that child's pose. And breathe, and already feeling sensations, whether it's in your ankles, your knees, your hips. Maybe when you take a big breath, your spine has a little crackle and pop. Maybe you can crawl your arms a little bit more forward, getting a little bit more stretch in your shoulders or your triceps or your lats. But just playing with the movements here, shifting your body any way that feels good. And just noticing how it feels in this child's pose so we can see the difference in the next one. Take a couple more breaths in and out through the nose. Release any tension in your jaw if you have any. Beautiful, when you're ready, slowly coming up into a tabletop position, placing your hands right underneath your shoulders and placing your knees right underneath your hips. From here, we're gonna get very vibey. We're gonna do a cat-cow, but we're gonna make it like a wave. So those of you who've been here a long time, you already know this, but we always start with the hips, then the spine, then the chin. So tuck your tailbone, round your spine, tuck your chin, exhale and then stick your butt out, sink between your arms, press the ground away, look forward, inhale. Exhale, hips, spine, chin, and you can kind of rock back and forth as you do this, but just close your eyes. Inhale when you look forward. Exhale when you round. And just like in the breathing exercise earlier, try to lengthen your inhales and your exhales to make them as long and as slow as possible so your movements can be slow. Because your breath leads and your body follows. Good, let's do one more of each. Last exhale. And go ahead, release back into a neutral spine. Good, from here, we're gonna go kind of a barrel roll. So we're gonna go right with our hips and chest and then sink between your arms and then left with our hips and chest and then round. So right down, left, up, and just keep going like you're making a barrel. And again, breathe here. Slow, long breaths in and out through the nose. Imagining your spine is getting a little bit more pliable. Go ahead, when you get to the top, switch the other direction, left first, then down, then right. Good. Close your eyes, just feel it out. One more circle. And go ahead, release back into a tabletop position. 
Beautiful. From here, walk your hands all the way out, bringing your nose down to the ground, going into a puppy pose. And if this is feeling simple or easy to you, you can always come up onto your fingertips and let your elbows kind of hover off the ground. Or you can try to place your chin to the ground. Opening up your thoracic spine, which you guys know is crucial for any kind of rotations, any kind of heel side, toe side turns. And while you're here, pick up your ankles and make some small circles with your ankles. Good, and breathe. Beautiful, go ahead, safely play, press yourself back into that tabletop position, taking as much time as you need. And then tuck your toes under, hover your knees up off the ground, shake them out. Good, from here, press your hips over your heels and then slowly start to straighten your legs, bringing your hips up to the ceiling. Now remember, in Downward Dog, we don't have to have straight legs. That's not the goal. The goal is to have a straight spine. So oftentimes people straighten their legs, but then they round their spine forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to to make sure your ears fall between your arms and your spine is as straight as possible. Hips are up, up, up towards the ceiling and pressing down one heel, then the other. So you're bending into one knee and then the other, getting a nice little calf stretch, hamstring stretch. And breathe in and out through the nose. Good. From here, slowly, one foot at a time, smallest steps possible, walk your hands or walk your feet all the way up in between your hands, bending your knees as much as you need to at the top, ending in a forward fold at the front of the mat. Beautiful. From here, place your fingertips on the ground, so bend your knees as much as you need to to do so, and then coming up onto your tippy tippy toes, and then all the way back onto your heels, toes come up, and go back and forth, tippy toes, Inhale, heels, exhale, and just let your head fall between your arms. Close your eyes. Inhale when you go forward. Exhale when you go back, moving so slow to feel the balance in your feet. So hopefully you don't have to rely on your hands too much. Good. When you're ready, go ahead, find that middle ground in your feet, folding a little bit deeper, and then bend into your knees as you slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. The slower, the better at the top. Big inhale, swoop your arms. Exhale, hands to heart center, stamastiti. 